Kaylee from Red Cage here. Uh, today we're going to do a little tip on roof eaves. Uh, basically, have you ever come across a roof uh, that you or someone else has created or and maybe it was right at the beginning and then after some editing you realize that something has gone wrong with a portion of the roof and you've got this weird situation hanging out at your corners where you've got kind of this overhang that doesn't seem to match at the front and one of the sides. So uh, you may know that in this situation that something has gone wrong with the eave height uh, and if you select the roof and edit its footprint um, you can use the align eaves tool. And basically it's sort of like a match property, so I can adjust the overhang, I can click on what I want, and then click on the one that's wrong, and I can fix it in that way, so now everything looks correct. But um, ultimately you may be wondering why it happened in the first place, what went wrong, how do you prevent it from happening in the, in, uh, the future. So what's going on there is when I when I pick my um, outline for my roof initially, if I were to draw another roof, the roof tool automatically starts you in the pick walls tool. And most people will end up clicking on one of these other options uh, before they even realize what they're doing. But pick walls um, gives you an overhang option. So if I want the edge of my roof to be a couple of feet away, from the edges of my walls, then uh, using the pick lines, pick walls, uh, I might set myself up with an, uh, an overhang of two feet. Great. And then I'm going to go around and I'm going to make a couple of these um, roof outlines. And maybe I get distracted, maybe somebody uh, comes and talks to me, and maybe I just, for, for whatever reason, I need to switch my tool out to one of these, either my draw or pick lines. So what happens then is I realize that maybe my offset now is back to zero. So I'll reset it to two, I'll click on my uh, wall, and I'll trim my corners so that everything matches. But what we notice there though is I this word has changed to offset, whereas when I was in pick walls it said overhang. It seems like a subtle difference, but it is fairly important because it allows this situation to happen. So this one, this front area here, has an, an offset of two feet, and this one has an overhang. So what it actually looks like, if I were to cut a section through some other buildings, is my overhang, not only does it uh, extend past the walls by you know a designated amount. It also extends past the level that we created the roof at. So it continues the slope down and past uh, my level until it reaches that overhang value that I typed in. If I use the pick lines or any of the draw line tools, I get the opposite effect, where it extends the slope down and out to two feet, but it actually picks the whole roof up so that my roof ends at the level that I was creating it on. And so um, I can draw a reference plane here. You can see that there's you know a difference in the level of the roofs, uh, even if they might be necessarily the same height. overall. Close. I might have picked the wrong wrong line there. So they're the same height overall, um, but this offset overhang is causing you an issue. So what this is, is basically the difference between a raised heel and a typical truss. So your wall ends at a typical truss and it goes horizontal and the slope uh, is happens right away versus the raised heel. So the raised heel um, is basically the same as the offset. It raises the roof so that your the edge of your um, 
roof overhang stops at your level, whereas the typical continues that overhang down and past the top of your wall. So that's the difference between overhang and offset when you're setting up your roof lines and that's what leads to that weird corner going on in your, in your roof. Um, you can fix it in, in either way by going and recreating that line or aligning your eaves, but you know, hopefully you understand what's going wrong with your roof. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for listening. Bye.